you will be doing something special here Ex yeah special because it's always here on mondays it's 7:33 here on your nfm and i have two lovely ladies in studio with me today and they are going to be teaching me a bit about financial literacy and inspiring me about my finances which i cannot do very well it's lovely to have you hi tata hi lala how are you i'm good how are you i'm good you're back here how do you feel not having larato with you i'm back here <laughs> it's 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 a bit strange walking into this building without uh larato here she's usually she, she's always really alone here to my person <laughs> So, you, so you can be alone together. So today I'm alone, so we can be alone together. <laughs> so we can be alone together, yeah. But it's great to be back here. And we have another Lerato. I have another Lerato here as usual. I've brought someone really special. I've been on a roll. I've been bringing these amazing women mm -hmm. week in and week out, right? So I have Lerato. Yes. I have been following Lerato on social media. I'm sure a lot of people have been. She is a financial expert. I've learned a thing or two from her. Yes. This is Lorata and she's um founder and managing director of Sierra Consultants. I'll just let her introduce herself. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm you? good. Thank you for having me. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and for following. Keep following. <laughs> yeah. Tell us a bit about um what you do and all right, um, Your actually, I'm a personal finance coach. Basically, what we do is we teach people about personal finances. Um, I run a company called Suero Consulting. It is there on Instagram and Facebook. I actually, on a, almost on a daily basis, I actually just post about um, personal finance. But we also do trainings. Basically, our main part of the business is basically to train corporates, um, employees particularly, on personal finances. We also do one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, on personal finances as well, basically just to teach people how to manage money. There's very little financial literacy education that happens when you know from school, um, from a young age to even an older age, and we're not managing money well. It's because of lack of uh, lack of education on financial education. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, or, yeah. I'm feeling very attacked here because me <laughs> and money are not the best of friends. So I'm hoping that when I come out of this. And a lot of people can take yeah. something out of it and then, you know, check you out and then, you know, find out how to manage their money. Better. So what yeah. got you into finance? I mean, people think finance, money, they run. Yeah. Basically, <laughs> well, first, I'm actually an, an accountant by profession. Actually, that's what I studied. Um, and, you know, I'm actually supposed to be working as an accountant if I've actually studied accounting, you know. Um, so what I decided to do, I remember when I left my job in 2015, um, one of the things that I've been always been passionate about, I would even advise my friends would be, guys, are you guys managing your money well? Are you saving? Are you... But it comes from home. I'll tell you, it comes from my mother. My mom is, a, is very, very, very good at personal finances. I mean, she's been teaching us this since we're young. She implemented it in her life even now. As, as she's retired and she's also not well, her money is taking care of her. Ah. You know? And it's because of what she's been doing since she's been working. So that also because we've been groomed from a young age with that. And I was just like, you know what? This is actually a huge pandemic in Botswana. Let me see if I actually open a business about it and actually teach Botswana about it. How would it go? And so far it's been going well. It's not easy. I'll tell you running a business. And it's also, also not easy for Botswana to open up <laughs> about money. I mean, it's so taboo, you know. It is a to, taboo topic. Yeah, to talk, to talk about it. They're like, hey. Hey, you, know, hey, you know, but otherwise we're really trying to make it an easy topic to talk about. Uh -huh. That it's okay to talk about it. Let us help you because mm -hmm. you didn't. Not everybody has the advantage of having a parent to teach them. Yeah. That's very yeah, true. Yeah, you know, and and because it's also not there in schools. You yeah. see, um, we don't really have the the financial education. So this is what we're here for. Let us teach you, um, to to manage money. Yeah, please not, teach me. Okay, yeah, no, we really don't. Yeah, like, so. um, so what? Like, uh, you have a business, right? Yeah, and I'm sure this is across the board. When you know, when you open a business, it's quite hard to get it started up, um, get it going. What what um, hurdles have you encountered while you were doing that? Yeah, oh, it's very hard. First of all, because um, financial literacy, particularly the the business I'm in, the type of business I'm in, first of all, it's not easy because of the if our customer base, our customer base being Botswana, mm -hmm. not being very open to it. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> and also it's not being a priority to most companies, but now they're warming up to it. Um, companies now are starting to understand it's actually the main cause of many issues for employees, 
personal finances because mm-hmm. they're not managing them in well. Yeah. Therefore, they don't perform well at 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 at, at, um, at work. They actually some commit suicide, some don't wow. come to work, etc. But um, the the hurdles have been that because but then I, I, we're not open to talk about it or open to even pay for it. But it's, it's getting better. And also, um, you know, being difficult in Botswana, also we don't get paid on time. And we've, hey. <laughs> we've been yeah. talking about that as well. And also just the processes just take long because you also have to get accredited. You see, for you mm. to be a training institution, you have to get accredited. That's also quite, quite, quite a hassle. But otherwise, um, it's you have to pay employees. Those are the things that you have to think about. You're the last person to to get paid as, as an owner of the business. That's true. Yeah, and you have a family to feed. So yeah. those are the things you also have to think <laughs> yeah. about while you're an entrepreneur. What, okay, how am I going to handle this? But you have to keep going. You have to have a spirit of, you know, keep persevering. And that's how you get it. Yeah. yeah. More on uh, financial literacy. And if you want to ask uh, our lovely ladies some questions, yeah, check us on our WhatsApp page. Um, WhatsApp, just send us a WhatsApp or a voice note on 74751545. We'll be continuing this conversation because I feel like it's a very interesting topic and it's something that I love taboo things. Yeah. And I feel like, you know what, let's push it in people's faces so we can talk more about it yeah. and, learn from it and learn from it. Yeah. We are back and still talking financial literacy, but with Tato, the marketing man- manager of ABM University and business owner. Oh, wow. Where am I going through my whole... <laughs> Yeah. Sorry. Um and uh, business Wait. Sorry. Personal finance. Person- I I I keep I <laughs> I'm, well, how would you like to be introduced first? Look like your business or pers- personal finance or business owner? Either it's fine. I still own a business, so yeah. it's okay. <laughs> so those are the questions. <laughs> yeah, it's still fine. All right. Um we're still talking financial. What is financial literacy? Basically what what that is it's um, how can I explain it? It's basically managing your finances. You know, it's 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 the education of managing your finances. You know, um, for instance, if you have a salary that is coming in, it's the education on how to manage that salary. You know, okay, for for your benefit, basically. Um, Yes, you want to something? So it, does it entail things like um, where you direct your money, how much you spend, um, yeah. set, breaking it down? Yeah, it, it involves a budget. Basically, okay. we are going to teach you about, let's say you do engage us, um, or even on a one-on-one or for training, we're going to teach you about budgeting or, and how can you actually budget your money and why. And normally how we do it at Suero is you don't just budget. You have to budget according to your goals. Where do you want to go? Okay. Who are you and what do you want to do for I your life? Because budgets are going to be different. You know? I love the part where you said why. Yeah, why? Why are you doing it? Mm-hmm. You know, my budget, I don't <laughs> think, can be the same as yours. Yeah. You know, um, maybe when you want to take your child to a different school and I want to take my child to a different school, you know, mm. and or you just want to travel all your life and that's okay, you know, and maybe when you're not into housing. So budget will be different according to your goals and where you want to go. That's I, I always say it, they have to be personalized to yeah. who you are and how, where you start to start with your goals and it will teach you how to set your goals, will teach you how to you know make a vision board, how to think where you want to go and then will teach you how to budget in alignment to your goals and where you want to go. Um, earlier yeah. on, you mentioned that um, the downfalls of not being financially literate, Yeah. right? And you mentioned things like people can even go to the point of committing suicide. Yeah. So what are the benefits? What, how can people benefit from this? Basically, what will happen is that now that you will know what to do with your money, you will know that debt is not a priority because most mm. of the time we, as, as people, we you know, prioritize debt because we don't know that it's actually not a priority. Mm. You can actually save up for the things you want some of them and also we don't know that we don't have to always be accumulating debt after debt after debt after debt hey, you know and and, and and one thing for sure i'll tell you is um when when, when i train that my experience on, on when i'm training is one salary increase 
or something in this salary increment you hear the financial institutions the banks they'll call you offering you you know how about to upload me and all that because you don't know and then you actually think wow what a lovely offer these guys are in business Mm. They don't mean well for you, not necessarily. <laughs> no, you know, and and when you think they really love you, they're actually calling you to know then business they're gonna be making money from that. But you need to be in a position to say no, thank you, if you actually don't need it. You know that sometimes there's good debt and bad debt. You know those are mm. the things that we're gonna educate you on. You know what? When you actually make a decision about this, you'll be informed. You know. We'll also teach you about investments that you're going to make or savings that you'll make. You'll be informed and also see do you go pay on the type of investments that you'll make and your returns, where's the best place to invest your money, where's the best place to, to save your money mm-hmm. and how best can I save my money, you know, how what does it mean to pay yourself first? How to <laughs> pay yourself first, what does that mean? Right? Um and how they save, 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 what what does that mean? And how the save it doesn't mean um, punish yourself. No, it's actually that is actually paying yourself mm-hmm. yeah. because that's your money yeah. and it, it's going to give you what you want. You see, and if you look at it that way, um, then you are able to actually prioritize savings and say, No, for a come so you go for a holiday or you just live a very, you know, with, with a peace of mind because you have this money that you're busy accumulating for your life. Yeah. You cannot stress somebody, oh, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> it shouldn't stress you. And, and this thing is stress because of the lack of education. That's true. You That's know, true. Or behind it. And, and this is what we're trying to teach you, the psychology behind it. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, Tato, you are with the university, yeah. I right? I find it so interesting. Yeah. Sorry, I find it so interesting when Rata speaks about money, she speaks, and, and budgeting and whatnot, numbers, all the stuff that we don't want to talk about, right? And she speaks about it with such passion. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's, it's just so inherent in her. She speaks about it I mean, alongside entrepreneurship. And who would have thought that from studying something like financial management or studying accounting, you can actually do something you have fun with? Yeah, because I take it she's having fun. Yeah, I'm having the time of my life, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so she's having fun doing yeah. this. And I mean, I find that so interesting how she's been able to turn um, something that you think. And I was saying to her, I was like, you know, you know, we would think that if you're gonna study financial management or accounting, you have to go get a job um, in a company very corporate, whatnot. Why do you have to be rigid? You can exactly have fun with it or do something you actually like to do or even turn it into a business. Yes. Yeah. And that's 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 a very critical thing. Yeah. The conversation we're having earlier about how she's managed to turn something that is thought of as so boring into something fun. Yeah. And into a business that she actually likes doing. Yeah. I mean it it, it goes on to it's just from the branding, you know, it's 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 it's, it's a lot of things. You can actually make it so looks so amazing you know you should see how my office looks for instance yeah. you know and 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 the branding and the colors it doesn't have to be uptight colors that we are used to the the accounting you know when you think about accounting you're thinking suits and the serious faces and you know it doesn't necessarily have to be and we're doing that deliberately and i'm sure um they are young students right now that are aspiring to become finance like going into a finance and accounting what kind of advice would you give them to, to yeah, you know to study. when it comes to tertiary study yeah B- basically it's, it's very important that you know that this is you love numbers it's very very important you have to be a numbers person um or else you will be frustrated <laughs> yeah <laughs> you have to be a numbers person and and know yourself very know yourself or you know i love my numbers let me do this you know and make so much research of what you're going to be after you're actually done with that particular course is it something that you can do Mm. and before you even um you know study it go shadow someone who is actually something in that that, field in that industry you know and then so that you know okay i belong here and it's super important because these are the mistakes we make you're halfway through your degree you're like oh god i hate this you know and or oh, you're done with your degree and like, what am I going to do with myself? You know, so it's important that you understand that you're a numbers person. And also on top of that, this is what you love. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Yes. You know, I, mean, That's I, very true. I remember when I was in, when I was in tertiary, when I was in varsity. Yeah. I remember when I was in varsity at one point, a friend of mine was asking me, how can you be doing numbers every single day? And she was doing marketing. 
Oh. And she was just like, you've been like, I really enjoyed it. I, I hated the marketing. And she was just like, how can you hate this? You That's, know? Yeah. So yeah, you have to be passionate about, about it and you have to actually know and you love numbers and you're a numbers person. So don't force yourself to do something that you are not. You should know yourself before you get into doing anything. I love how very passionate you are when you talk about this. Like she's um like she said earlier on that you speak about it and you just really love what you do yeah. and it shows it comes out Thank you. and I'm sure it's going <laughs> it's going to your business is just going to blossom from here because yeah when you're talking about things you love when you do things you love and you open businesses in fields that you love i'm sure you put much more effort into it yeah yes and it, it, it's very important for when you actually open a business and something that in anything you have to love it because it's going to be very frustrating entrepreneurship is frustrating mm. on its own so at least if you love it, it the love will keep you going all right so abm yeah. ca- um, university mm-hmm. has I just um, a competition because, yeah, yeah but until before okay. i get to that i just wanted to say um so we've listened to but rather really tell us about how she studied um, accounting, which is something we have as financial management at ABM. Yes. Um, and how she's managed to turn that into a business. The conversation we're having earlier was how at ABM you even get to study entrepreneurship. Oh, while brilliant. you're doing, which is brilliant. Well. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's great. That you get to study entrepreneurship development as the program goes on. Like you study it at level one, which is in your first year, mm-hmm. and then again in your third year. So basically everything that she's been talking about, about the numbers and knowing how to, but you see, the thing is you would know how to do the numbers. You'd know the passion is there and everything, but then you also require a little bit extra to be able to now successfully run a business. Yeah. That's true. Which is the extra mile that will then take you to. Mm. When we teach you now how to turn this passion that you have, everything that you've learned into an actual business, into actually securing the bag. Hey. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I mean, results just came out last week. Yes. If you're over there at home. Wondering. From five, wondering what to do, but you know you love numbers, no best statistics, it's all... Don't worry, but you also know what you, you know, and another thing that she said that I found interesting was how she, and she does, I've seen it, everything around her is so pretty and colorful and whatnot (laughs) associated with marketing. So you don't actually have to think of finance as this boring thing, you know, it's dull. The stereotype. Stereotypes, blocked colors or whatever. You can still have fun with it um, in how she does it. Yeah. So you can be this pretty, pretty girl that likes pretty, pretty things. <laughs> and or this really you know, cool guy that's, you know... <laughs> dressed only, up. We sort of came with... <laughs> cool, cool, but, but still then, do it. But still do it. And yeah. still do finance and still make something fun out of it. So all you need to do to enroll at ABM, 36 points gets you in mm-hmm. on the government scholarship. All right. Um, tell us about the competition you have. So we're also running a business competition. It's very, very easy to enter. Simply go on our website, www.abm.ac.bw, download the competition form and stand a chance to win a bursary to study entrepreneurship development from our incubation center. So this is a year of you studying entrepreneurship development. The first six months you're going to study preparing your business plan. We'll teach you how to do your business plan, how to do your go-to-market plan and so forth. The other six months, you're right here on site at the incubation center and able to run your business from there. All right. And um, how long is the competition going to be running? It's running for a period of six months. There is four spots that we've given away, eight spots left. So I think next week we'll be announcing the next two winners will be halfway through the competition this may be you so if you find this package very very intriguing go ahead and enter the competition and you might just be winning yourself a bursary ladies it's been a wonderful having you today um i'm quite inspired i've thought about it now <laughs> like i was part of the taboo people that like finding this topic very taboo because yeah. hey i'm one of those people that don't even look at the the receipt the the there is you know, <laughs> like, when I come out of uh, when it comes out of the AT, I'm gonna keep you out. Hey, negativity. No, <laughs> <laughs> could have just spent, 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 spend. and yeah. um, I found that you know for my life to run smoother. You need to. I need to. Yeah. Um, please tell us where we can find you on your social media, all about your business, and yeah, information about that. Yeah, um, you can find Suero Consulting on Instagram and Facebook. 
Suero Consulting, S U E R O Consulting. <laughs> yes. Or you can call me on 712-9070 if you actually want to make an appointment. 712-9070 or email lorato at suerosconsulting.com. Thank you. And ABM? So easy. All our handles, ABM underscore university on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. It's been a lovely conversation. Thank you for Thank coming you. through to our NFM. Yeah. Every Monday. Every Monday, 730 to 8. Yes, we'll be having new conversations. You'll be learning new things. So stay tuned. Every Monday, come back here. Yeah. It's 801 on ERNFM.